This innovative new method of using kettlebells engages your body and mind in unexpected ways. Perform each of the four drills in a circuit format for four rounds with a 3-3-3 tempo. Use a three-second lifting phase, a three-second isometric hold, and then a three-second lowering phase. Rest for one minute between rounds. Grab the kettlebell with both hands by the horns near the base of the handle and place the base against your belly right below your sternum as you stand in a tall neutral stance, feet hip width apart. Actively roll your shoulders back and down to set a proud chest as you brace your abdominal muscles to stabilize your lower back. Pushing your butt backward, fold your upper body forward as a counterbalance. Maintain a vertical shin angle while keeping your head in line with the rest of your spine. Make sure that your hips stay higher than your knees and your shoulders stay higher than your hips at all times. The latter can have a nearly horizontal relationship, but avoid inverting them. Pull yourself back to the start position and repeat for 10 reps. While seated on the floor, use an underhand grip to place two kettlebells on your lap. Lie backward and position the kettlebells against your forearms, wrists straight, with your upper arms on the floor and fists facing the ceiling. Reposition your feet as close to your glutes as you comfortably can. Then drive your heels into the ground, elevating your hips until your body is straight from your knees to the backs of your shoulders. Tuck your pelvis under slightly to avoid arching the lower back. Press both kettlebells directly toward the ceiling over your sternum. Lower back to the start position and repeat for 10 reps. Hold a single kettlebell by the horns with two hands at chest height. Position your elbows under your wrists and actively set your shoulders back and down, your chest proud. Set your heels at slightly wider than hip width apart and turn your toes out to at least 45 degrees. Sink your hips downward, focusing on moving your tailbone straight down toward the floor and keeping your hips aligned between your heels if possible. Actively press your knees outward, making sure they track in the same direction as your toes while maintaining a vertical chest. Return to the start position, shoulders staying stacked over your hips, and repeat for 10 reps. Sit with your knees up to your chest, feet slightly wider than hip width apart on the floor in front of you. Allow both knees to drop to one side to form a 90 degree angle with the shins. Attempt to sit tall in this posture before picking up a kettlebell. Keep your wrists straight as you hold it against your chest. While maintaining an upright posture, push your shins and knees downward into the floor to extend your hips and elevate your torso. Get as tall as possible, keeping the tailbone tucked. Return to the seated position while keeping your shoulders over your hips to maximize engagement with your glutes. Avoid plopping down to the floor by controlling the lower part of the range of motion. Repeat for five reps per side. 